Let's see what Giuseppe's doing today. Giuseppe, what are you doing? Where are you? I'm over here, under the dash. Where? What are you doing under there? Taking the master cylinder off. I had it disconnected from here. Oh, it's so hard to get out of here, you know that? How are you gonna get out? Can you get out? Yeah, I got it. Taking out the master cylinder. For two reasons. I have to de the whole engine compartment and make it the color of the car. And I want to convert it to dual. I don't yeah, like the single. Yeah, you're gonna have to figure out what, what we're gonna use for the, for the master cylinder. Yeah, somehow we gotta do that. But, okay. I don't like single. What are you gonna do? Degrease everything outside? Degrease everything outside, the whole nine yards, and I'm gonna get it sanded. How'd you do with your engine? Pretty good. See? Looks good, huh? You did your, your show. I did the right? Paisan con, I did yeah. everything. Some people really hooked you up. They did. Um, CVF. Yep, they gave you the poles. Summit. Summit gave you a lot. They a really lot. You guys worked together great. everything. Holly gave me the carburetors. Yeah. I got Wien intake. Right. MSD. I got MSD. The distributor, right? Mr. Gasket valve Mr. covers. Mr. Gasket valve covers. Yeah, you got all kinds of stuff. Um, Dorman, the timing cover. Well, Dorman, you got the timing cover. You got right. the freeze plugs. The freeze you got plugs. all the bolts, all the hardware. You got a lot of Dorman yeah, stuff on yeah. it. Yeah, I and just can't um, get enough of that. The alternator is gorgeous, man. I, I just can't. And it's and it's that Mopar alternator. And it's I all know. polished. It's so beautiful. Internal Look at regulator. It. Makes me want to walk over to it. You know. The, uh, yeah, this is an internal regulator? Yep. That's good. So open. You got it out? I, I don't, yeah, I got it from here. What do you mean you got to put a dual piston uh, master cylinder? Well, with a single, you spring a leak in one wheel, the fluid leaks out, and you have no brakes all around. With the dual piston, there's two reservoirs. One for the rear, one for the front. You spring a leak in the back, you have front brakes. You spring a leak in the front, you have rear brakes. So it's like a brakes. safety thing. Basically, yeah. And whoever worked on this car before didn't put rubber grommets on the brake line. Mm -hmm. And the brake line's all around. So uh, by the five brakes, you could spring the lead. Yeah, it could wear around. While you were driving it, you had no brakes. Imagine going down the track at 140 miles an hour. And you have no brakes. You go squish, squish, and nothing happens. Right. Unless uh, the brakes could be weak. The e brake, but still 140 miles yeah, an hour. You don't want to go locking anything. back wheels on no, the you're gonna be, you know. No, you're going to be. Yeah, no, you don't want to do that. So that's no, why it's good. always good to have dual piston. You're not using that again. No, this is brand new. It's actually not, not hasn't been used much. It just hasn't been used and right. it's old. That's about it. I, 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 I uh, raced it a couple times. I, you know, I made noise with it, let's put it, because I was always on the street. I don't encourage that. A couple times I changed that, I drove it a little bit, and then I said, it's sat. Years sad. and years. How many years do you think it's sat, more or less? Oh, that's got 20 years. So this car sat for like 20 years. I would say so. Uh, yeah. the and paint and all that. I started it occasionally, moved it around a little bit. Back in the garage. Not to mention, you couldn't drive it much because you had rear wheels, you know what I mean? Because of the slicks. You had to right. be careful where you went. So, pretty soon, I'll you know get I mean? put pro streets on it, but if we right. go to car shows with it, it's getting those back on. Uh, anyway, I gotta yank the trans out. I'm gonna get it rebuilt. Just for the hell of it. It's, you know, I got it You calling up. who I think you're calling for that? Danny. Danny. Call okay. Him up. He did a trans for me a long time ago in my uh, my '68 Camaro, the drag car, reverse manual valve body, everything. Trans brake was in there, everything. The whole nine yards. The trans was an animal. It was an I kicked the out of that. And thing you still too. have it. I still have it. Uh, we'll find something to put it in. I was thinking 55 Chevy. If you can find the right 55 Chevy, yeah, I think we're gonna do a 55 Chevy. Yeah, we can have to do a 55 Chevy. I really would. Yellow. I want a yellow 55 Chevy hardtop. Because when I was a little kid, I found, I'll keep a long story short, I found a box of model cars that were already built. And the bad man 55 Chevy was in that box. And I was real small. I was like three, four years old. I put the bottom of the box every once in a while and I would sneak out another. I was supposed to be touching that stuff. And I just held that thing. The bad man 55 Chevy. Let me know if you know what it is. I held it and I was like, Ugh. and I never forgot that a yellow 55 Chevy to me, you wouldn't think. But just does something because when you bring things up from when you're a kid, you know it's a whole different ball game. It is. Gotta it really have, is. gotta have. And I got that big block. So well, we'll see what happens someday. But anyway, all right, come on, take all the rest of the stuff off. I gotta start the game. I'm pretty much almost there. Right, right. Oh, that was taking over the world.